What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Just wanted to show you guys my new Mason leather cartridge cuff for my 4570 rifle. Wanted to show you how beautiful this cartridge cuff is. And if you use the promo code NY10, you can get 10% off if you order one of these cartridge cuffs or if you order several of them for various rifles and this is my new preferred way to carry reloads on my hunting rifles especially my dangerous game rifles now for years i used one of those belt pouches that a lot of guys like to use but the problem with a belt pouch is that if you have some winter clothes or if your clothing is in the way or you have uh, some backpack on or something, it might be harder to access your reloads, your spare cartridges from your belt pouch, okay? So having them on your rifle is a no-brainer, okay? Because you don't have to fumble with layers of clothing to get to your spare cartridges while you have a bear charging you or Cape Buffalo or whatever the situation is, it's just a no-brainer to have them right on your firearm, okay? So for dangerous game rifles, this is what I recommend. I think this is the best way to carry spare cartridges on a dangerous game rifle. Now, you could still have a belt pouch to carry an extra 20 rounds, but for quick reloading, I think this is much faster and more reliable than a belt pouch or a culling belt. So look at how beautiful this cartridge cuff is, guys. Just absolutely gorgeous. It's handmade in the U.S. Mason Leather is a small business based out of Texas and veteran-owned. So you know you're supporting an American business and a veteran. So just absolutely beautiful, guys. And... He can customize these cartridge cuffs to put different things on them. As you see, I have 4570 stamped on it, but he can stamp any cartridge on there, you know, 4570, 3006, whatever. Another thing that I love about the Mason Leather cartridge cuff carriers is that these loops here, he custom makes these loops for your particular cartridge so it has a nice fit so check this out okay look at this 4570 cartridge and look at how it just fits perfectly in these loops all right it's not too tight it's not too loose and that's a big problem with some of these cheaper cartridge cuffs like this one here that i bought years ago for like 10 bucks this is what most people use and the problem is these uh nylon loops they start to loosen up over time and your cartridges fall out okay you don't have to worry about that with one of these mason leather cartridge cuff carriers because these loops are made to fit your cartridge okay and look at the thickness of the loops uh, the leather on these loops okay just extremely thick leather not cheap at all okay very high quality and you know even if let's say over time the leather loops started to break in and loosen up they're still not going to fall out because you see the rim will catch on the loop here okay so it's still not going to fall out but look at those loops guys just beautiful work here everything is handmade veteran owned okay so i uh, wanted to just share this with you guys and uh, check this out i'll just show you guys how he stamped the 4570 on there and it's just as you can see i can pull these out of the loops and it's not too hard to pull out i don't have to like fight it which you don't want to do that if you have a bear charging you or something you don't want to have to fight to get your cartridges out but also you don't want it to be too loose but as you can see I can pull it right out you know it's just perfect I've never seen anything like this on the market you know just the perfect fit basically and check this out look at that 4570 and he can stamp different designs on there I'll show you what I have stamped on the back of mine 
And this is what I had him stamp on the back of this one here. It's just a bull elk. And I wanted that stamped on this rifle because uh, here in Pennsylvania, we have a thriving elk population. And it's one of the few states in the eastern U.S. with a thriving elk population. And it was one of the first states to actually reintroduce elk in the eastern United States. So, uh, but this is my rifle here. Okay, my Marlin 1895 4570. I have the Wild West guns, big loop lever. Um, I have this Burris handgun scope. It's a two to seven power scope. It's got the electro dot, which they actually don't make anymore, but it's basically like a red dot in the middle of the crosshair. I have the XS lever rail installed. Okay, so I have this scope forward mounted, which makes for quick acquisition. And I have a ghost ring sight on the rear as a backup iron sight. And I also have this little tri rail that I installed. And that was just me. I, I bought this little rail and I clamped it on and I put some red thread locker to hold it in place. But I think I'm going to replace this uh, wooden forend and this rail here with just a full length M lock rail. I already have one. And this is a JM stamped Marlin 1895. This was my first rifle. That I ever owned okay this was a gift from my father when I turned 16 and um, there's the JM stamp right there so this is an original Marlin and this is a 22 inch barrel Marlin 1895 and I extended the magazine tube out so I can carry up to eight rounds in the magazine tube I have this Brockman's steel front sight and I got the tritium vial in there the trigicon tritium vial and I also upgraded some of the internals I softened up the loading gate so it's real easy to use the loading gate I changed out the factory extractor for the Wild West guns one piece extractor I put in a stainless steel magazine tube spring so it doesn't corrode and I have an aluminum follower in there. I have this uh, Wild West Guns quick detach lever screw here. So you can uh, break down your rifle in the field. You don't need a screwdriver. Okay, it's just kind of like a knurled screw. So you can use your fingers to, you know, unscrew the lever screw and you can clean your rifle in the field or inspect the barrel look down the barrel to see if there's any obstructions I have some quick detach scope rings here um, but I'm gonna do a more detailed review of this rifle I still have to change out the trigger I have a Wild West guns trigger I'm gonna put in I still have to do that but I really wanted to just show you guys this beautiful cartridge cuff from Mason leather if you're interested in getting one, use my promo code NY10 for 10% off and check them out, www.masonleather.com. And I also have one on my 416 Ruger Dangerous Game Rifle. This is a Ruger M77 Hawkeye guide gun, okay, chambered in 416 Ruger and Look at how beautiful this cartridge cuff is, guys. I actually prefer this darker brown versus the lighter brown, but he can do any color. He has a variety of color options, different stamps. But look at this, guys. And I've had this for over a year, this cartridge cuff carrier, and it still holds the cartridges nicely, nice and snug, as you can see. Okay, and I've used this cartridge cuff carrier probably two hunting seasons already for bear season here in PA. And um, it still holds these cartridges nicely. And I'll just show you on the back what I have stamped on the back. I just have an American flag stamped on the back of this one. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys these beautiful cartridge cuffs. Use my promo code NY10 for 10% off, www.masonleather.com. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps, prepare, practice, and persevere.